if the electric pump is having low pressure then it is possible to lower the ram air turbine the red using the red man on push button Let us talk about blue hydraulic failures. We will talk about the blue electric pump and then we will move on to the blue hydraulic reservoir, the fluids. To refresh your memory, the blue electric pump push button is a guarded switch and operates in flight. If we are on the ground, it will run if one engine is running or when the maintenance crew press the blue pump override push button on the maintenance panel. The blue system has its own independent hydraulic reservoir which operates at 3000 psi and 2500 psi if it is powered by the ramp air turbine. The fluids cannot be transferred from one system to another. Example. The fluids from the blue system cannot be transferred to the green or yellow system. Do check out my video on hydraulic system for more information. Now, we will look at four failures. Blue electric pump low pressure or overheat. Blue reservoir low air pressure. Blue reservoir low level. And finally, blue reservoir overheat. First failure, hydraulic blue electric pump low pressure or overheat. Question, when will we get an electric pump low pressure? It is when the pump outlet pressure goes below 1450 psi. So when we get a pump low pressure or overheat, meaning the pump is hot, we switch off the blue electric pump. It is a guarded switch, so we must have confirmation from both pilots. Do watch my previous video on dual hydraulic failures involving the blue system. If the electric pump is having low pressure, then it is possible to lower the ram air turbine, the red, using the red man on push button. Let us take a look at the secondary failures, the flight control page. As you can see, spoiler tree will not be operative. Just imagine that blue hydraulic is at the center and spoiler tree is also at the center. That is how you remember that blue hydraulics control spoiler tree. Let us look at the status page. On the approach, if the overheat is out, we switch the pump to auto. Calculate the landing distance using the QRH. Fuel consumption will be increased and FMS prediction is unreliable. It is possible to get this when you have spoiler deflected up. Slats will be slow to extend and cap tree single. Let us look at the inoperative systems. No blue hydraulics, no spoiler tree, no cat tree dual and of course no blue electric pump. Okay, we are done with the electric pump. Now it is time for all the reservoir failures. Blue hydraulic reservoir low air pressure. The pressure in the fluids itself is low. You get this when the air pressure is less than 22 psi. At any time in flight, if it goes below 30 psi, then it will only display when you land. If the pressure fluctuates, blue electric pump off. Secondary system failures will look similar to the previous failure. The status will look similar. However, now that on the approach, you can set the blue electric pump to auto. Why? Sometimes you get cavitation at higher altitudes and once you descend, it may be possible to restore the system. However, if it's not recovered, then yes, the failure will be the same. 
The third failure will be the Hydraulics Blue Reservoir Low Level. You will get this alert when the fluid quantity goes below 2.4 litres. As you can see, no fluids left, so switch off the blue electric pump. No point in keeping it running. Let us see the secondary system failures, the flight controls. Similar to previous failures. Apply the landing distance procedure in the QRH and there will be increased fuel consumption if spoiler is extended. FMS prediction is unreliable. Your sleds will be slow and cat tree single only. Now, as you can see in the inoperative system, you will not be able to deploy the ram air turbine. Therefore, emergency generator will not be available. The last failure will be the blue reservoir will overheat. The alert will trigger when the temperature goes above 93 degrees Celsius. Initially, you have to switch off the electric pump. Remember that the fluid is there, the pump is working, so just wait for the overheat to be out. Then on the approach, switch the electric pump back to auto. If the system is not recovered, then we will get the same old failures like the other previous failures.